So I actually took a year off um, for my mental health and I really worked on myself and I feel like Gone to Bed was that record to bring me back. That was the one to, um, that I wanted to release after so long and I felt that it was so fresh and new and inspiring and I loved the lyric content of it being like an intoxicating relationship and you want to see that person that you love but you don't and then you do and you're like, oh, I should have just gone to bed. <laughs> it's that like regretful moment. Um, I love that whole vibe of it. So I really felt that it was such an amazing record to bring me back. So there were some um, people in my life that were toxic and I really wanted to give them chances but they weren't, um, they weren't using those chances wisely and they were just toxic people and, and they were just all negative and drama and I just decided to cut them out and that's exactly what I did. <laughs> I just really, just plain and simple, just cut them out. <laughs> So I recently reconnected with um, Fit Harmony's former A&R, Joey Arbogy, and he is amazing. He's the one who found all the hits in Fit Harmony. And I recently got back in touch with him, and he has been um, mentoring me in a way, and he has been there for me to just be my extra voice and to provide the records that really fit like me, feel like me, and that really fit me. And um, how I approach the music now is just owning, you know, telling people and the producers and the writers what I love and then sharing what I don't love too. That was hard for me before, but now I feel like I'm so confident in my voice to be like, oh, I don't, I don't love the way that sounds or I'm not, I'm not feeling that lyric. Um, that's important as an artist to just be authentic to who you are. I um, well, I grew up um, listening to a lot of Latin music in my family. You know, being Mexican American, being Latin, that was you know that was my heritage, and that's what we listened to. We would listen to growing up, and um, I uh, you know uh, the past few years. Um, recently recorded in Miami and Puerto Rico doing my Latin music. I was doing Latin music for a while and I was just inspired by a lot of different Latin artists like J-Lo, Shakira, um, even you know kind of newer modern artists like Bad Bunny, um, those type of artists. That's what kind of influenced me. Well, I constantly, I grew up singing in Spanish, so that to me was, in a way, my, my outlet and um, something that I really loved. And growing up and being where I am now, I just love singing in Spanish. And, um, you know, people say that I'm very authentic when I sing that and that I don't really have an accent, so that's very good. Um, I'm still learning, though. I'm, I want to learn Spanish fully. Um, but I didn't growing up because my parents got in trouble um, when they were growing up speaking Spanish, so they didn't want us to be, um, you know, brutalized. So that's why I didn't speak it. Even though I couldn't speak Spanish growing up, just listening to the music and you know watching like music videos and um, just um, embracing my culture, you know when I could, was something that was amazing that would help me to cope. And um, there's a lot of people like me who grew up, you know, Latin but not speaking Spanish. Um, and I want you know to kind of be that voice for those people to say, hey, you know what, you can learn at any time and um, you know, you're not lesser than. I think that's like a stigma, is that you're lesser than if you don't speak Spanish, but you're not.
¿Cómo explicarte que contigo nada me hace falta que a pesar de la tormenta vas a campar? So basically it means with you I have everything that I need and I can get through anything with you, even a storm. It was a whirlwind, it was crazy. There were so many up, so many down. It was a lot of toxicity, but there was also a lot of um, triumphant moments, um, career-defining moments, record-breaking moments. And for me, that's what I took away from it, was those, um, we, we ruled the world together, and that was just so amazing to me. So that's what I take from it. Now compared to then when we were just like exploding is so different. Now it's more and more about social media and TikTok and Instagram and instant gratification. So for me, um, I handle that relationship with my fans as I'm trying to post as organic as possible and as much as possible and relatable content, but content that you know is also like glam too. So it's like a mixture for me. Well, they ask for music, music, music. They're constantly wanting more music from me. <laughs> and they want to see me in different lights, you know, like with my fam or baking, because I love to bake, or with my cats, or um, really just like killing it and owning it on the stage and being just happy and glad in my life. Like, that's what they want. My fam, totally my fam, fam, fam. They keep me grounded. They keep me sane. I talk to them like just about every day. Um, and I tell them, you know, about a lot of my life and what goes on. And um, so they are like the number one answer. <laughs> and then um, just like my, my closest people to me in my life, um, they keep me sane and, and just glad and laughing and, um, they're really there for me. And my fans too, like they're there for me as well to keep me uplifted and um, yes. I feel like putting yourself out there, putting yourself on social media, definitely staying disciplined, um, you know, whether you're being in the studio or you're like rehearsing, um, that's something that you know is really important. And then um, just staying educated on the business and what you can you know educate yourself on on how the business works, contracts, etc. That's what I would say. I am thrilled about my future. Oh my God. Um, there's definitely, of course, more music, but it's music that will be empowering, empowering, empowering and um, that I'll really put a piece of me into and like co-write um, and uh, it'll just be me, the new version of me that's more, you know, just powerful and owns her voice and um, knows who she is. That's what you're gonna get from me.